In a Sydney Morning Herald article published last week on the 22nd of May titled How the Socceroos Can Help Albo Boost Australia-China Relations, Football Australia said that the deal had the support of the Australian government. I assume that means that uh, the deal has been endorsed by the Department of Foreign Affairs or the Ministry? Uh, Senator, we are not involved in that um, match. You, you're, the Department of Affairs has had no consultation? Not, on... to, my, not to my knowledge, Senator. That oh, surprises sorry, Senator, me somewhat. Sorry, Senator. <coughs> sorry, Ms Lawson. Uh, sorry, Senator. It's Derek Yip, uh, Assistant Secretary, East Asia Political Branch. Um, we've provided a bit of support to uh, Football Australia in terms of helping with some logistics uh, and some advice to them about travelling to China. Um, the Football Australia CEO told the Sydney Morning Herald that the deal to play the game in Beijing came about after they'd been approached by an organisation called China Rainbow International Investment, described as a promotional company at the Socceroos, would be paid an appearance fee by that promoter as part of the deal. Is DFAT aware of the organisation China Rainbow International Investment? Um, Senator, we, we don't have direct involvement, uh, as, as far as I understand, uh, with, with the organisation. With you, uh, are you aware of the organisation? Um, only in the context of them being part of arrangements for this game. OK. Would it strike you as unusual at all that Football Australia was being approached by this group, um, which back in November 2022 was describing itself as being involved in power engineering, transportation engineering, petrochemical engineering and the donation of a large amount of masks and medical supplies during COVID-19? Oh, Senator, I don't think we can speculate on the motivations of that organisation. Sure. It just seems a little strange that they're suddenly interested in sports promotion. <clears throat> oh, Senator, again, I can't speculate on that. Are you aware of the organisation All China Federation of Returned Overseas Chinese, an organisation which ASPE has described as a peak United Front body? Uh, Senator, I've heard of that organisation, yes. Is the department aware that up until the last couple of days, the website of China Rainbow International Investment described itself as being controlled by the All China Federation of Returned Overseas Chinese, which no. is a United Front body. You weren't aware of that. These references have only been removed from the website in the last couple of days. Do you have any insight as to why China Rainbow might have deleted references to being controlled by All China Federation of Returned Chinese Overseas in no, the last Senator. few days, despite apparently describing themselves as such on their website for years up until the last little while? Um, do you have any concerns with the Socceroos and Football Australia receiving money from an organisation which appears, based on its own website, to have close links to the United Front Work Department organisation? Well, I think it was, uh, according to your line of questioning, it was a payment for uh, uh, performing a, a match, a game, right? Yes. A performance fee, as opposed to kind of receiving money in some sort of... Sure, but it's a performance fee for a match that is being touted mm. as strengthening the diplomatic ties between Australia by and China. By a newspaper, yes. Uh, and by Football Australia, with the strong inference that they're doing so with the federal government say-so. 